So after the fires came through, we've been receiving a lot of inquiries from landholders as to what grows on their properties. The fires were a major disturbance and after the disturbance you see a whole suite of plants come up that you would not ordinarily see in your landscape. A lot of these plants look like weeds but a great deal of them are actually native. We're going to show you a few examples of weedy plants that you should be controlling and some of the native plants that you should be leaving alone. This plant here is called Tree of Heaven. Extremely invasive plant. It's a deciduous plant so it loses its leaves through winter. Characterised by its very long leaf, quite green and it has a distinctive notch at the base of the leaf just down here. If you have this plant on your property please get in touch with us and we'll help you remove it. This is blackberry and this is a really bad invasive weed. Has these big hooked thorns, very sharp and the underside of the leaf is quite pale and has thorns running along the underside on the main rib. The roots of this thing will go down a very long way in the soil. The best way to get rid of blackberry is to spray it with a broadleaf herbicide. This is a datura called thorn apple. It has this characteristic big green leaf with highly serrated margins and on the top it has these big thorny seed capsules, hence thorn apple. The whole thing's poisonous and if you have stock of any sort you should be getting rid of this out of your paddock. This is blackberry nightshade. It has that characteristic leaf, deeply serrated margins and as its name suggests it has black fruit on it. Very poisonous plant and if you have stock again you should be getting rid of this thing. This plant is called Nicandra. It has this massive leaf. It's more of a light green. It's kind of furry and it comes up with these white leading into blue or purple flowers. They're like a trumpet flower which are then followed by these seed pods. This is a weed and it's a good idea to get rid of it. This is turkey rhubarb which is a weed. It's characterized by these leaves that look like arrows and it has this pinkish inflorescence uh, which carries lots of seed. It's a scrambling plant and smothers other vegetation. This is called inkweed, characterized by these big fleshy green leaves. The seeds go from white through to red through to black. We typically wouldn't worry too much about it because once the canopy gets up higher it'll exclude this plant. It is a poisonous plant so it's worth controlling if you have cattle or horses. This one's called stinking roger. This is a weed so it's characterized by these very long leaves has a serrated margin on, on the leaf and it has a cluster of seed pods here with tiny little creamy yellow, yellowy white flowers. If I was a farmer I would probably be getting rid of it because it will compete with your pasture. This is forest nightshade which is a very common ground cover that's come up after the fires. Forest nightshade has thorns all over the leaf and it has prominent white veins running across the top of the leaf. It's a native so we don't need to worry about this one. This is native raspberry which is often confused with blackberry. It has quite furry leaves and the leaves always stay quite small on it. The prickles on native raspberry are, are a lot smaller, thinner and a lot more fragile. Really nice little plant and uh, very good for our native birds. This plant here is called Seisbeckia. You can identify it through the big leaf and the two basal lobes on the leaf. It also has the yellow flowers and this is one that we don't need to worry about. This one's called kangaroo apple. This is a native, commonly comes up after disturbance and we don't need to worry about this one at all. This is commissonia which is a native hemp. It has a big broad maple like fleshy leaf. It's quite hairy. It's a native plant and we don't need to worry about this one. It's a really good stabilization plant after disturbance. This one here is called native cucumber and this is obviously a native so we don't need to worry about this one. It has a very distinctive leaf with this crescent at the top and the big lobes on the leaf. Very dark green, very rough to the touch. Has little tiny white flowers and these tiny little seed pods which are like little tiny cucumbers. This one here is a native called Coxpur flower and you'll typically find it growing in a riparian area that is a riverbank. Has a purple tinge to it and it's quite hairy and fleshy. 
It has a terminal flower spike as well. This is a little native called crumbweed. It has these flowering spikes and really fine seed and tiny little deeply serrated leaves as well. This is a native called Phylanthus and it has dark green ovate leaves, very light veins running through the leaves and the leaves are alternate. This one's called Forest Bindweed, has this very long leaf with two deep lobes at the basal area of the leaf. This is a native and you can leave this one alone. If you need to know more about the plants that are growing on your property, feel free to get in touch with Council or with the local land service and we're more than happy to come out and give you a hand at identifying plants and how to manage them if they need managing on your property.